He saw no bed. He couldn't go to the fridge and get a drink, a cold drink, or a nice apple. There was nothing there. He started crying, started sobbing. When Muhammad saw him sobbing, he said, Why it makes you cry, ya, ya, ya Umar? Because Ya Rasulullah, the kings of Persia and Rome, they eat luxurious foods, the best foods. They sleep, they sit, they wear clothes, material made out of silk, pearls, gold, silver. And they are filthy people. Yet you, you have been chosen to be the leader of the Muslims of mankind. Look at you. He smiled. His response was a smile. Saying, ya Omar, is it enough that for us is the hereafter? And for them is this life, this life, one day, two day, three day, life, that's all it is. Is it not enough for us is eternity? And he smiled. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pictured the reckoning in a speech reported by Muslim ibn Hijaj radiyallahu ta'ala an. That Allah ta'ala on a day of resurrection will meet a person and he will say to this person was I not generous with you? Did I not, did I not make you with a spouse and made the horses and the camels at your disposal? The man will reply yes. Then Allah will say to him did you think that you will meet me? Listen to this beautiful question. Did you our servant, is Allah speaking to the servant, did you our servant Think that one day you will meet me, Allah Ta'ala? And what is the reply of this man? He said, no. He said, today, as you forgot me, I will forget you. What did he say? As you forgot me, how can you forget Allah Ta'ala? But as you forgot Allah, Allah will forget you. And how can you forget Allah? Faddal ya Estes Mustafa. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ومن أعرض عن ذكري فإن له معيشة ضنكا فإن له معيشة ضنكا ونحشره يوم القيامة أعمى And whoever turns away forgets disregards my reminder for him he will have a hard life قال رب لما حشرتني أعمى وقد كنت بصيرا. He will say, this person that was told, that rejected and forgot the reminder, that he will be raised on the day of resurrection, blind. So this person will say, why, O my Lord, why did you raise me blind after you had given me vision in the life of this world? So this person is questioning Allah Taala. What's the response? He said, look at this beautiful response. We sent down our revelations. We sent down the Quran, the signs. We sent down Muhammad to be, re, to be followed. Yet, you disregarded it. You forgot it. You left it. You rejected it. You abandoned it for the worldly assets. For worldly materials, for nothing but inferior stuff, you gave this up for the sake of Allah Ta'ala. Or you gave it up for the sake of the dunya and you left Allah Ta'ala. As you forgot me, Allah says, today I will forget you. To this person, as you can see, he was questioned by Allah Ta'ala. Do you think you will meet me? He said, no. Because as you forgot me, Allah Ta'ala, I will forget you. And how do you forget Allah Ta'ala? By not fulfilling his obligations. By not abstaining from his prohibitions. And this is the forgetfulness of Allah Ta'ala. And thus Allah Ta'ala then will ask another person and he will answer in the same similar way. And then he will ask a third person. And he will ask him and this person will say to the third person, Oh Allah! I believed in you. I believed in your books and in your messengers. I prayed, I fasted, I gave charity. 
and he will praise Allah Ta'ala as much as he can and Allah will say hold on to your words hold on to your words we shall bring the witnesses and the person will say who will bear witness against me there's no one there but him and Allah because on the day of resurrection you'll be speaking to Allah alone no interpreter alone no one there next to you alone so he will say who will bear witness against me then Allah Ta'ala will make his mouth seize, stop, closed, silent, locked, cannot speak. Then his thighs, his skin, his feet, his flesh, his hands will speak on his behalf. And they will say all the bad deeds that he performed. As mentioned in Surah An-Nur 24, يَوْمَ تَشْهَدُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلْسِنَتُهُمْ وَأَيْدِيهِمْ وَأَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ On the day when the tongue and the hands and the feet will bear witness against them as to what they used to do. And the person will say, why did you bear witness against me? وَقَالُوا لِجُلُودِهِمْ لِمَا شَهِدْتُمْ عَلَيْنَا قَالُوا أَنْتَقَنَ اللَّهِ الَّذِي أَنْتَقَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ and the people will say to their skins, why? Why? You are my skin, why did you bear witness against me? They will say, Allah made us speak. As he caused all things to speak. As he caused all things to speak. This is the day that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pictured the day of reckoning. This will be day, the day known as Yawm al-Akhir, the last day. It will be known as Yawm Al-Qiyamah, Yawm Al-Ba'ath, the day of resurrection, the day of rising. It will be known as Yawm Al-Khuruj, the day of coming out of the graves. It will be known as Yawm Al-Tanad, the day of mutual calling, the day of announcement. It will be known as Yawm Al-Hasra, the day of grief, regret, remorse, resentment. It will be known as the day of Al-Khulud, the day of eternity. The day of al qariah the thumping, beating, striking, the dreadful disaster. It will be known as al ghashiyah the overwhelming. It will be known as Al-Waqi'ah, the occurrence, the event, the happening. al haqah the reality. It will be known as al saqah the great shout. And it will be known as al tam the great catastrophe. Allah Ta'ala named the day of judgment with many names. Each name describing the afflictions that will occur on that day. And this was known to the Arabs. They used to name something that they considered as being great of many names. For example, the sword. To them was something great. So they named it with over 500 names. Because they used to like fighting. They used to have names for their swords as they had names for their horses and camels. Thus the Almighty Lord named the day of resurrection with many names, each name describing the attributes that will occur on that day. Why was it named the last day, Yawm Al-Akhir? Because there will be no new day after it. It will be the greatest day that man must pass through. The gravest and most fearful day on that day. SubhanAllah, man's new life will be decided. And this new beginning, this mark, will lead to either two things. Either eternal damnation, eternal destruction, punishment, tormentation, or eternal bliss, blessing, paradise. We ask the Almighty Lord to make us our new mark, our beginning on the last day, Yom Al-Akhir, to be a mark of eternal bliss and blessing. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma ameen. It was named likewise by Yawm al Qiyamah, Yawm al Ba'ath, which is the day of rising, the day of resurrection, as Allah Ta'ala says, وَنَحْشُرُهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ عَلَىٰ وُجُوهِهِمْ عُمِيًا وَبُكْمًا وَالصُمَّةِ We shall gather them on a day of resurrection on their faces. On their faces. We shall gather them, the disbelievers, on a day of resurrection on their faces. Blind, dumb, and deaf. Anas reports that a man asked Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Rasulullah, how will Allah Ta'ala, or will Allah Ta'ala, resurrect the disbelievers on their faces? And he replied, Will not the one who made him walk on his feet in the life of this world be able to make him walk 
on his face in the next 